Hi there, everybody. So this is a short video to just show you the steps to go through to download data from your uh, Series 500 handheld monitor. Uh, the assumption here is that you already have gone to the Aerocall website and downloaded the software. Uh, you should have uh, your S500 monitor uh, with some log data, uh, your data cable, and so now I'm just going to show you the software steps uh, involved in uh, downloading the data to your desktop in a format that Excel can open uh, easily. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, get hold of our S500 monitor. We're going to plug in the data cable, and then we're going to plug the data cable into a USB port on the side of our PC. Once you've done that, then you can head on over to the software uh, and open up the software, and we can begin trying to download uh, some data. So once you've plugged your monitor in, open up the software by double-clicking on the Aerocall logo. You should see the Aerocall uh, screen pop up. There's a little binoculars symbol in the top left-hand corner, so click on that and the software will search for a monitor. Okay, it's found one. Monitor ID 1, okay, good. Uh, the next step is to uh, head on up to the file menu. If you click on the file menu, what we want to do is uh, download logged data. We can do that from the file menu or click this button here and you can download some data. While you're downloading that data, you should see some flashing lights on the USB connection indicating data transfer. Okay. Very good. Now that what you've done now is you've downloaded the data to the database on your PC. So the next step is to drop down to export log data. Pick a from date and time uh, and a to date and time. So you can just edit the uh, setting here in the calendar. I'm gonna download a small amount of data from the 16th of May. I'm just going to change the time here, okay, and then hit export. That'll happen quite quickly because it's pulling it from the database from your local uh, machine to the desktop. So just give the uh, data a name. It doesn't have to be anything specific. It will save it to a CSV file. Click save. Now, if you have a look at your desktop, you should see a CSV file. And that CSV file should open up fairly easy into Excel. And it's really that simple. So uh, that's the process for downloading data from your handheld uh, onto your desktop in a format that can be read in Excel. I hope that was easy to follow. Thank you.